See your job as a mission field. Write that down. See your job as a mission field. I didn't know this, but I read it this week. Of the 52 parables Jesus told, 45 had, an, had a workplace context. Isn't that interesting? Jesus, somebody added these up. Jesus made 132 public appearances in the Bible. 122 of them were in the marketplace. The workplace is an ideal place for evangelism. Henry Blackaby, who, uh, who wrote the book Experiencing God, said the next spiritual awakening could very well take place in the marketplace. And, and think about it. You're spending 40 to 60 hours a week with the same group of people. The impact that you could have on their lives is monumental. You spend more time at work than you do with your family. Take away the sleeping time. What that means is, is on a very practical level is that we don't have to be obnoxious about our faith. You don't have to take your work cubicle and convert it into a Christian bookstore. You know what I mean? And splatter Bible verses over everything and every Christian piece of paraphernalia. You don't have to do that because you're with these people all day long. And so better, better to witness to them with your life, with your attitude, with your behavior, because... Again, because you're with them all <laughs> so many hours, sooner or later, they're going to notice. They'll notice that you don't lose your cool as often as others do. Or if you do, they'll notice that you're one of the first to ask for forgiveness for that. And they'll find that odd. They'll notice that you don't badmouth the boss or gossip about so-and-so in the ad department. They'll make a note of that at some point. They'll notice that you laugh a lot. They'll notice that you don't talk about the old lady or the old man at the workplace, but you refer to your spouse with tenderness and longing even, and they'll be drawn to you for that. And once they notice and they think it through after enough time has gone by, guess what they're going to start to do? They're going to start to ask you questions and want to talk about it. Authentic Christians will attract others to Christ with their lives. We're to be salt. What does that mean? It means we're to make other people what? Thirsty. And that's how your job can become a mission field. That summer I spent on the railroad tie gang that I was telling you about, I ended up being given the position of pulling spikes and the uh, pulling the, the people who spoke, pulled spikes there's only two of us and we're 50 yards ahead of the main group and all we do all day long is pull spikes but it's just a two-man job and so me and a guy named Craig both of us were college students we were given the assignment of pulling spikes that summer and you know what we did eight hours a day all summer long we talked and pulled spikes and we pulled spikes and talked and my friends, by the end of that summer, Craig accepted Jesus Christ. Just because of pulling spikes and talking. Just natural, ordinary conversation. 